Hey dreamers, today we are mashing it up. We're talking MLP and Barbie. First, let's start with princesses. Our first mash starts with Barbie's movie, The Secret Door. So there's Princess Alexa. She's a pretty, pretty princess who finds a magic door to a magical world and discovers she has powers. And in MLP, we have Princess Cadence. She's a pretty, pretty alicorn princess who rules over the magical crystal empire. They both have magical powers and protect their kingdom. Put them together and you get Princess Cadenza. Next up, we have Princess Kara. In her movie, Princess Power, she is kissed by a magical butterfly and becomes a superhero. And the Avi choice from MLP is Princess Twilight Sparkle. Totes, I love Twy's wing. Twilight is also practically a superhero because she's always saving the day. This mashup definitely earns its wing. Wow! We present Princess Spara. Now it's time to talk villains. <laughs> The main six battled this villain not too long ago. His name was Lord Tyrick. He tried to drain every pony's magic and take over all of Equestria. And in Barbie's movie, The Secret Door, there's the super bratty Princess Melusia. She is totally jelly of everyone and starts stealing the powers of any creature or person that she wants. <sighs> that doesn't look anything like me! This has to be the best cake ever in the history of history! These two are bad with a capital B. We call them Lord S. Terusia. So villainy. <laughs> now in Barbie's Nutcracker movie, we meet the Cray Cray Mouse King. He is totally jelly of the Nutcracker, who actually used to be a real prince. And he commands a rock army to do his badness. This reminded us of Queen Chrysalis, except her army were those ugly looking chainlings that tried to ruin the wedding of Princess Cadence and Shining Armor. Thank goodness that didn't happen. That wedding was one of my faves. Princess Cadence looked so gorgeous. Let's call this one Mean Callus. Nickname, Meanie K. For our last smash, let's talk Barbie's A Mermaid's Tale. Meet Merlia, a surfer girl who learns that she's part mermaid. Wait, isn't that the one where she also finds out that her mother is a queen mermaid of an underwater kingdom called Oceana and is being held prisoner by her evil sister, Iris, after a talking dolphin named Zuma tells her so? Yes. Nailed it. And in Ponyville, we have Sea Swirl. She's a student at the Ponyville Schoolhouse and her cutie mark is two dolphins. Plus, Sea Swirl is pink and purple and so is Merlia's tail when she goes all mermaid. This mashup is totally seatastic. Merlia Swirlia. That today's mashup is going to be quite the main event. We're mashing up Trolls and My Little Pony. But before we can start, can you guess which character this is? Tell us in the comments below. And stick around until the end for the reveal of this mystery character. Okay, now it's time to let your hair down and join us for some fun. It's time for Trolls and MLP. For our first mash, we're thinking pink. Poppy is the leader of the Trolls and the ultimate party planner. She's always making invitations, bursting into song, and giving her besties hugs. So we couldn't resist mashing her with Pinkie Pie. Pinkie also enjoys singing songs, throwing parties, and hanging out with her best pony friends. And did we forget to mention, they both have gorge pink hair. We're thinking this mashup is definitely pretty and peppy and pink. Pinkie Pop. Next, we're bringing some boys together. Branch is a grumpy, brooding troll who always assumes the worst in everything. He spent his life preparing for the Bergens to return and hiding his true colors. But one thing he can't hide is his feelings for Princess Poppy. And in Canterlot, we have Shining Armor. He's the kind and protective captain of the Royal Guard whose job is to always be prepared for danger. Married to Princess Cadence and a recent dad to baby Flurry Heart, he can be a bit grumpy if he didn't get a good night's sleep. This mashup will make a great, grumpy guy. Shining greener. Now it's time for a triple mash that's all about BFFFs. Huh? Best fashion friends forever. Got it. <laughs> In Trolls, we have Satin and Chenille, the fashion twins. They're always picking out the right clothes and totally hip to all the latest trends. So the perfect pony fashionista for this mashup is Rarity. She also shares a love for fashion and the spotlight, especially when it's her designs that are getting the attention. A mashup that screams fabulously fetch friend, Rare Sa Shen. Our next mash has a role model kind of vibe. 
Mandy Sparkle Dust comes from a long line of hug time, friendship, bracelet making trolls. These bracelets are the ones worn by all the trolls that beep when it's time to hug. Hug time! It is hug time. Hug time! Come on, get in here. <laughs> Mandy is committed to carrying on the family tradition and making people happy. And another hardworking character is Applejack. Representing the Apple family, her honesty, commitment, and family's recipe for fritters has also brought a smile to many a pony. The mashup has a real recipe for a real role model, Dandy Apple Dust. And last, but certainly not least, we have a mighty match. Moxie Dewdrop is a confident troll. Her signature dance moves are known throughout the land, as is her fearless ability to perform. And if you didn't already guess, Moxie Dewdrop was our mystery character. Tell us in the comments if you totally knew it was her. Hashtag True Trolls Fan. The most fearless perform worthy pony we could think of was Rainbow Dash. Her flying and athletic abilities always have her showing off in some contest or annual pony event. A match that's always willing to go their own way, Roxy Doo Dash. So what did you think, Dreamers? Hit like if you're totally loving these mashups. Hey fans, we're back with another mashup you're not gonna wanna miss. We already know you love My Little Pony, but today we're going to let it go in a whole new direction. Are you about to say what I think you're about to say? If you're thinking about building a snowman, getting voodooed by magic trolls, or freezing an entire village and countryside, you're on the right track. I knew it was frozen! I knew you would. <laughs> First up, let's talk about Olaf. He's the snowman sidekick with a heart of gold who always has his peeps back. And we all know T.S.'s sidekick is the loyal dragon, Spike. He's totally worth his weight in gold, or at least gemstones. <laughs> so let's call this mashup Spoloff. <laughs> That's so adorbs. I know, who wouldn't want a Spoloff doll? Next up, we have the frozen villain, Hans. He tricks everyone to trusting him, which is so wrong. And we all know who causes trouble in Equestria, Discord. <laughs> let's call this double trouble, Hans Cord. How about Princess Anna? She's so adorable, charming, and her sister's her BFF. Kind of sounds like Applejack, because family and friends mean everything to her. Their mashup, Panapplejack. That name is totally fantastic. Get it? <laughs> yeah. How about our hero, Kristoff? He's smart, strong, and has magical trolls for parents. And who else could we compare him to but Shiny Armor, loyal leader of the Royal Guard for Princess Celestia. Let's call this mash Shining Arm Off. Get it? Because he totes give his armor like for anyone he loves. Aww. And finally, let's not forget the queen herself, Elsa. Born with magical power, she confuses concealing with dealing and turns everything into a huge icy mess. She kind of reminds me of Twilight Sparkle a little. True, they both want to do what's best, but sometimes they <coughs> oops in using their magic. How about we call this mash Twilight Spelsa? That sounds magical. <laughs> well, fans, that's it for today. Don't forget to comment below and tell us what you think. Are you ready for MLP to meet Harry Potter in a mashup? Get your wands ready, because we're going to Accio the main six MLP ponies and Harry Potter characters together. Let's start this mashup with Harry Potter. Harry is loyal, daring, and adventurous. So who do you think is his main six counterpart? We're going with Rainbow Dash. They are both so similar, they could practically be the same person. We're calling this daring duo Rary Posh. Okay, let's move on to Princess Twilight Sparkle. Twilight is super smart and is always the one to get the job done. So, does that sound like anyone we know? Hermione, of course. She got O's on all her owls, except for defense against the dark arts, which she got an E on. And she's always the one who figures it out. Remember when she solved the basilisk mystery? Yep, so we're calling this brain overload Hermione. When I say best friend, who do you think of? Hmm, I'm thinking of Ron for Harry Potter and Applejack for My Little Pony. Good idea, they're both super friendly. So this mashup is going to be called Rapplejack. Okay, Fluttershy is super kind and helps take care of animals. So, Luna Lovegood would be her mashup counterpart. OMG, yes! They are both such cuties and both help out whenever they can. Okay guys, get ready for this cutie pie. Fluna Shy Good. Ginny Weasley was always there to help out Harry whenever he needed it, especially in the book, The Order of the Phoenix. And Rarity is known for her generosity. She always helps her friends with fashion and stuff like that. This helping hand mashup is called Rinny. 
Last but not least, we have the lovable Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie always gives her friends a good laugh and throws parties for them when they need. We're thinking we're gonna need more than one person to match her. So we're bringing the twins, Fred and George. These troublesome two always had a prank up their sleeve and could always cheer everyone up if they needed. This pranking party is called Pinky Jai. So dreamers, how'd we do? If Mal was a pony. Hey guys, one of my all time favorite shows is Disney Descendants. Anything with magic, mystery, even a little romance, I'm all about it. And we know that you all love MLP. So today we are doing a much asked for and much anticipated mashup of My Little Pony and Descendants. Let's start with Mel. She's a leader and artistic. She is just like Twilight Sparkle. And in fact, they kind of look alike, right? Yeah, like the purple and pink. Yeah, their mashup, Malite Sparkle. Awesome, okay. Lonnie is the daughter of Mulan and has a sweetheart that loves her friends. Just like the kind and gentle Fluttershy. Yeah, Fluttershy is so considerate of all the other ponies and we're calling this team Lonchai. I wanna be friends with Lonchai. Okay, Applejack is sweet, just like her name would imply. And she's always willing to help a friend and cares about the environment around her. We think she's just like Jane, the daughter of the fairy godmother. We are calling this sweet mashup Apple Jane Jack. Nice. Okay, Chad Charming is athletic and pretty, well, charming. Just like the super adventurous and dependable Rainbow Dash. These two cuties are being mashed up to be Rain Chad Char Dash. Interesting combo, right? I love Rarity because she's into fashion and making her friends happy with the designs and all. She rocks that silver look, which is so in right now. Should I dye my hair silver? Kira, don't get distracted. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Rarity reminds me a lot of Audrey, the cheerleading captain and total fashionista. Okay, you know what? Audrey also kind of reminds me of Pinkie Pie, though. She's cheerful and loves hanging out with her friends and having parties. <gasps> hmm, we'll do a three-fold mashup? Let's do it. Pinky, Rarity, Pie. Sounds yummy and weird. <laughs> well, guys, what did you think? Love Descendants and Avi the main six. This was fun. What kinds of mashups should we do next? Tell us in the comments below. Are you ready for the cutest mashup of all time? We know you guys love when we do mashups and we love all of your suggestions for the new ones. I spent my whole weekend reading through your comments and this is the one that I see time and time again. Shopkins and My Little Pony. Our two favorite cuties. I'm so excited for this one. Same. Okay, first up, we have my girl, Applejack. She's an honest pony and a reliable friend. Kind of like Minnie Muffin from Shopkins. She's really energetic and a sweet friend. We are mashing them up to be Minnie Jack. Oh, that's a cute one. Yes, for sure. Makes me think of those apple muffins my mom makes around Thanksgiving. Mmm, <laughs> Okay, Fluttershy is really kind and has a big heart filled with love. She's always trying to help out her pony friends, just like Chloe Flower. She's a cute little hippie and spreads her love around. She'll always be there for her friends until the end. Their mashup is called Flutter Flower Power. Awesome. Pinkie Pie is the funny pony that always has everyone laughing. She loves parties and eating yum yums. I love yum yums too. Like candy cane. Interesting. Interesting. So it's obvious her mashup is the total prankster Cheeky Chocolate. Both like to have a good time and be silly. It's Cheeky Pie. Great, okay, so next up we have Rarity. She loves fashion and different hairstyles. She loves making people feel beautiful on the inside and out. Just like our bud, Lippy Lips. The fashionista who loves to be sassy. Just like my little sister. Oh yeah, I know her. She's a total sass. Okay, this mashup, Lippity. Princess Twilight Sparkle is a leader and loves helping her buddies. Her royal mashup is with Cupcake Queen. She loves hosting special balls that I think Twilight Sparkle would attend, right? Oh yeah, I'll go to any party that has cupcakes. For sure. We are calling this aristocratic pair Your Majesty Cupcakey Twilight. Whew, magically delicious. <laughs> yeah, so that's it guys. What did you think? What Shopkins would you mash up with what MLPs? What's up dreamers? Today we are doing an epic mashup. My Little Pony and Teen Titans Go. First up, we have Robin. Robin is the leader of the gang who is also kind of a perfectionist. Yeah, and Princess Twilight Sparkle is also very organized. She keeps everything in order, plus she's also the leader of the Castle of Friendship. 
this leading pair is called Rhylite Sabin. Next up, we have Cyborg. Cyborg loves chilling with his friends and having fun. Yeah, and which pony do we know who loves to have fun and throw parties? Pinkie Pie, of course. <laughs> this mashup is one fun couple, Pieborg Pie. Beast Boy, Cyborg's best friend, is so friendly. Yeah, he's always super nice to everyone and would do anything for his friends. Just like Fluttershy. <laughs> Fluttershy is super nice to everyone and would always help out a friend in need. This helping hand is called Butterby. So, what'd you guys think? Hey, hey dreamers. dreamers! Get ready, cause we're doing an epic mashup, MLP and the amazing world of Gumball. First up is Gumball himself. This mischievous character is always getting into trouble on his adventures, but he always learns his lessons. So we're pairing him with Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash also has a flair for adventure, so they would be able to keep each other company on their wild adventures. This action-packed duo is called Rumball Dash. Next up, we have Darwin. Darwin is Gumball's best friend and is always smiling. And he reminds us of none other than Pinkie Pie. Of course, Pinkie Pie is so much fun to be around and her laugh is adorable. We're calling this friendly pair Parwin Pie. Last up, we have Rocky. Rocky is such a hard worker. He does so many different jobs, including being the school cook, janitor, handyman, and the bus driver. <laughs> and Applejack also works hard. She is always helping out on the farm whenever she can, and she also helps her friends whenever they need her. This helping hand's name is Rapplejack. Hey Dreamers, since the new My Little Pony Equestria Girls Legend of Everfree movie was so incredibly amazing, we decided to do an awesome mashup with the main six becoming one of our other favorite things, emojis. Who's ready for some emoji fun? Check it out. Comment your favorite emoji down below. We're gonna mix things up today with something we know you all love. Puppies! I mean, who doesn't love them? You can play catch, teach them tricks, give them treats, buy them Star Wars, Halloween costumes, and they're just so cute! So today's mashup is going to be puppies and MLP. This puptastic episode starts right now. Okay, our first dog is the White Poodle. They've got style, they've got charm, and sometimes they even wear jewelry. Known as one of the best in show, this dog wins style points at many competitions. And when it comes to style and accessories, we think rarity, of course. She's also all about that bling and quite the fashionista, especially when it comes to the latest trends. This matchup is totally fetch the rarest poodle. Next, we have the Chihuahua. This spirited pup is full of energy and known for its silly nature. Usually seen prancing around or diving under blankets, this pup is super fun. So, of course, we have Pinkie Pie. She can also be a bit prey, and her personality can be extremely off the hook. We're thinking this mashup will be a super silly success, the Pink Pois. Now let's talk Loyal, the Siberian Husky. This dog is one of my faves. Those eyes, love. <laughs> They also tend to be really outgoing and walk with a quick, light step. Well, loyalty is an element for Rainbow Dash. She's also super fast and definitely outgoing, especially when it comes to competitions. <laughs> a mashup that is loyally likable, the Ringinian and Dusky. This next pup is a classic, the Collie. They are very gentle, loving, and protect their people. And on MLP, we're thinking Fluttershy seems like a perfect match. She has the whole shy, soft touch, tend to her animal thing down pat, and she definitely hearts all creatures. A cool, calm, classic kind of mash, the Floody. Last, we have a dog that's always in the top 10, the Golden Retriever. This dog is awesome. It's friendly, intelligent, and reliable. Applejack is one pony who's also dependable. She runs her family's farm, is always there for her friends, she's a hard worker, and smart as a whip. This mash would definitely be a dog's best friend, the Gapplejack. So what did you think, dreamers? Did this mash get three paws up? Let us know in the comments below. Today's mashup might get a hint and little crazy. It's time for MLB and Littlest Touch-Up. 
All right, let's start with LPS's main character, Blythe Baxter. She's the teenager who has a knack for fashion and can talk to the animals at the pet shop and beyond. I mean, how cool is that? And on MLP, we have Fluttershy, a pony who earned her cutie mark by learning she could communicate, comfort, and care for animals. This mashup is sure to be a dog or any animal's best friend, Blythe Shy. Next up, we have Zoe, a doggy diva who dreams of becoming a star and has a tendency to be very dramatic about everything. <laughs> so we thought of Rarity, who can be quite the dashinista. She runs her own boutique and occasionally daydreams of a life with the higher society ponies. But no matter what dreams they have, it's their generosity and friendships that keep them going. This mashup is one definite dramatic diva, Zarity. Okay, now it's time to talk Vinny. He's the fun-loving but clumsy gecko who is always dancing throughout the day. He even tried to dance and sing a song about it once. I'm dancing, it's a dancing day. Then there's Spike. He's the adorable purple dragon who is the faithful assistant to Twilight. He always tries his best but can occasionally make a mistake and has also been known to dance on occasion. This mashup is one klutzy cutie, Spinny. One of the bounciest characters on LPS is Minka the Spider Monkey. She loves to eat, paint, and hang out with her friends, but gets distracted easily by shiny objects. She is the perfect mesh and potential BFF for Pinkie Pie. Pinkie also has an unusual amount of energy, especially when she knows there's a party that needs planning. So let's give this potential party planner a suitable name, Pinka P. For our last mash, we have Russell. He's the self-named leader of the pets who can be a little uptight, but his intentions are always to keep things calm by using his talent for organization. And the most organized pony we know is Twilight Sparkle. She has notes on everything she's ever learned. All her books are alphabetized, and she loves to make lists for any task she's given. So what would be the perfect name for this perfectionist? Twill Alice Sparkus. So dreamers, which character mashup was your favorite? Today's mashup includes the latest distraction that's sweeping the nation. Say it with me, Pokemon Go. It's a super cute app that allows players to capture and battle with their favorite Pokemon. And, oh, hey Brenna. Almost got it. Almost. Yes. I just scored myself an Eevee. So today's mashup will be an awesome power up. <laughs> MLP and Pokemon Go. First up, let's talk about Clefairy. Known to be a shy fairy and talented artist, this pink Pokemon also has a secret talent, dancing in the moonlight. So we couldn't help but think of Fluttershy for this mash. She's also very timid and has a secret talent, singing. Both are pretty in pink and have wings, but prefer to stay out of the spotlight. This mash is fairly adorable, Flutter Fairy. Next we have Ho-Oh. This Pokemon is already kind of a mashup because it looks like a combo of a phoenix and a peacock. But what really caught our attention is what happens when it flies. It trails rainbows across the sky. Obvi, the choice for this Pokemon was Rainbow Dash. She also has the ability to fly and make some rainbows. This colorful combo makes quite for the tongue twister. Roho Bodo. Oof, that was hard to say. Now let's talk about Gabite. He's a gem hoarding dragon who likes to seek out treasures. And we know another dragon who likes his gems, Spike. Both dragons are purple and seem to love things that sparkle. They kind of have a pirate vibe going on. <laughs> this mashup is totally amazing. Spa Bite the Seeker. Okay, so Igglypuff is a balloon Pokemon. She has pink curls, a cute charm, and bounces like a ball. And Pinkie Pie has a balloon for a cutie mark, has pink curly hair, and is always bouncing with happiness. Oh, the Grand Galloping Gala is the best place for me. This is one happy hopping mashup, Pinkly Puff. And lastly, we have an epic triple match. <laughs> the Arceus Pokemon is one of the oldest and most beautiful. It shows gratitude and compassion and is the protector of its planet. And in MLP, we have Princess Celestia and Princess Twilight Sparkle. Both have nurturing and kind natures and continue to learn and grow as they rule their kingdoms. So we couldn't resist to do the triple twist. Here's one mighty and powerful mash, Princess Arrestia Twickiest Sparkle. 
So are you totally addicted to Pokemon Go like we are? Yeah, fans, tell us which mashup you like the most in the comments below. Thank you, Dreamers. Today's mashup is all about Miraculous Ponies. No, it's not. It's about My Little Ladybug. How about My Miraculous Little Ladybug Ponies? <laughs> How about we just get to the mashup? Agreed. Miraculous Ladybug and My Little Ponies, let's go. We're going to kick things off with a triple mash. Marinette, aka Ladybug Girl, is adorable. She's a designer, she's a good friend, and she gets a little goofy around her crush, Adrian. But as Ladybug Girl, she's smart, she's confident, and has miraculous powers. So we're matching her up with Twilight, Sparkle, and Rarity. Magic and fashion clearly rule this masterful mash, Lady Merity Sparkle. For our second mash, we're pairing up some shy souls. Adrian is a student, fashion model, and a secret superhero. Sometimes afraid to say how he feels, his confidence shines whenever Ladybug Girl is around. And Fluttershy can also be afraid to speak her mind, but her confidence and courage always improve with a little help from her friends. This mashup is definitely doable, Flutterian. Next up, we have Alia Suzer and Applejack. Both characters are super reliable and always have their friends' backs. Alia defended Marinette from day one and became her instant BFF. And Applejack is always helping out one of the mainers and proving herself again and again. <laughs> this makes for one bold, brilliant bestie, Ali Sazak. Our fourth mash is a spoiled sport. On Miraculous LG, we have Chloe Bourgeois. She is the bratty nemesis of Marinette who loves to humiliate her and boss people around. Chloe also seems to love a certain someone we mentioned earlier. <laughs> So this made us think of Diamond Tiara. She also took every opportunity to humiliate the cutie pie crusaders back in the day and seemed to only think of herself. Clearly this mash is a destructive duo, Chia Tora. And lastly, we have a mischievous mash. Dun, dun, dun! Hawk Moth is the evil villain on Miraculous Ladybug. He is always trying to steal Ladybug Girl's Miraculous by changing people with his Akumas. And on MLP, we have Queen Chrysalis. Also a little moth-like in appearance, she uses her chainlings to help her gain power and make the main six suffer. A villain who speaks volumes, Queen Hawkalus. So, what'd you think, Dreamers? Which mashup was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Hey, Dreamers, it's time for another mashup adventure. So come on and grab a friend. Yeah, Adventure Time in My Little Pony starts right now. Okay, let's start with Spike. He's a dragon. He's a friend. He loves to eat gems, and he is crushing on rare. And Finn is brave, very responsible, fancies Princess Bubblegum, and likes to chew treats. Both are loyal to their friends and would do whatever it takes to protect them from danger. This mashup is definitely a true friend, Finn. So we all love Princess Twilight Sparkle. She's smart, loves to read, and has a gift for magic. Plus, she's the awesome ruler of Friendship Rainbow Kingdom. On AT, we have Princess Bubblegum, the ruler and protector of Candy Kingdom. P-Bubs is also a scientist and inventor who even has a cool trick. She can make jelly beans in the palm of her hand. We're calling this girl powerful princess Bubble Light, or for short, Princess b -Li. Now let's talk about two crazies we love, Pinkie Pie and Jake the Dog. Pinkie is always bubbling with energy, cracking jokes, and throwing the ultimate parties. And Jake can be laid back, but he also loves to eat and sing and dance and eat more junk food. This mashup is sure to be the life of any party, Jinky Pinkie. It's time to get a little edgy and talk about some characters with a darker side. In MLP, we have Princess Luna, sister to Princess Celestia and co-ruler of Equestria. She was once a total baddie who called herself Nightmare Moon. <laughs> she even had a holiday named after her, Nightmare Night, where she played tricks on all the ponies in Ponyville. <laughs> So of course this reminded us of our fave evil rocker, Marceline the Vampire Queen. She's also a little bit of a trickster and can get a little emotional at times. <laughs> We're thinking this mashup could be wonderfully wicked, Luna Lean. And last we'd like to give a huge shout out to the Flame Princess. She may be short tempered and sometimes have a little bit of trust issues, but ex-boyfriend Finn says she's just passionate and misunderstood. And in Ponyville we have Applejack. Her stubbornness and temper may cause her to disagree with her friends, but it's her strength and commitment that she's known for. This would make for one fiercely focused friend, the notorious Apple Flame Princess. 
I love mashing up with MLP. Me Today, we're talking celebrities. They're flashy, fun, and always on the go. And so are the MLP gang. <gasps> Let's start by talking cake. It's delicious and I could eat it all day. So yum. Okay, on MLP, there's Mr. Carrot Cake, and he's part owner of the Sugar Cube Corner. He and his wife are always making yum treats in Ponyville. And the sweetest show we know is Cake Boss, starring Buddy Velastro. He's just like Mr. Cake, and his family helps run his bakery. And did I mention that he also won a Kids' Choice Award on Nick? This mashup is gonna be a piece of cake. Mr. Cuddy Bakes. Okay, next up we have one of the coolest pop stars on MLP. Her name is Countess Coloratura. She is a singing sensation with a signature style who rocks it wherever she goes. Avi, the celebrity choice for this mashup is Katy Perry. Katy Perry is also rocking her own thing, whether she's hot or cold. Get it? I get it. <laughs> we call this Celebrity K-Test Colory. And sticking with the music theme, let's talk about the Pony Tones for a moment. They're the Pitch Perfect group featuring five MLP faves, Rarity, Fluttershy, Big Mac, Torch Song, and Toe Tapper. I love their song, Find the Music in You. So of course, they would make a kicking combo with Pentatonix. Let's call this jam and mashup the Pony Tonics. Now let's step into the acting world for a moment. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm getting into character. As I was saying, acting is a feeling, and in Ponyville there is one pony who is the master of emotions. She is full of energy and totally loyal to her BFFs. That's right, fans, you guessed it, Pinkie Pie. And what other fun, hip, true girl comes to mind but J-Law, AKA Jennifer Lawrence. I think we all agree, she's our spirit celeb bestie. Duh. Anyways, we're calling this mashup Jinky Pen. I like that. Hey guys, get ready for the ultimate holiday mashup. We're taking your beloved My Little Ponies and combining them with all time classic holiday characters. First on our list is Princess Twilight Sparkle. This pony is a natural born leader and gets the job done no matter what it takes. And this jolly guy makes sure his job of delivering gifts is always merry and bright. We present to you, Santa Twilight Sparkle. Next is Pinkie Pie. This pony definitely has a mischievous streak and is always on the move. And this guy here doesn't stay on the shelf too long. He's all about making you laugh with the odd places he winds up. Our next MLP and holiday combo is Pinkie Pie off the shelf elf. Next is Rarity. This fashion loving pony would be the perfect match for this guy who takes his accessories seriously. Button nose, silk hat, corn cob pipe, eyes made out of coal. Ew, who looks up with that? Meet Frosty the Rarity Snow Pony. Our next merry mashup is taking Rainbow Dash, the pony that loves to fly, with the reindeer that loves to fly. fly. Here's Rainbow the Red Nosed Reindeer. Now we are taking Fluttershy the Soft Spoken Pony with a big heart and mashing her up with this fella. Hanukkah Harry? Wow, here, that's actually an awesome combo. That guy has a big heart too. He saved the day when Santa was sick. Yeah, sings, we dance the horror around the menorah when Hanukkah Harry is here. Okay, let's continue with our amazing MLP mashup. So technically this guy isn't a pony. He's actually a dragon. But he's my favorite villain from MLP. We're going to mix Discord with none other than the guy who stole Christmas. Neat, Grinch cord. Ooh, he's scary looking. And lastly, we are taking Charming Applejack, our honest friend from MLP. Aren't all the ponies pretty honest? Yeah, I guess, but this guy really tells it how it is. This is your sister Applejack, remember? The loyalist of friends and the most dependable of ponies? Ooh, let's mash her up with this honest fellow. And you have an Apple Charlie Christmas. Oh, I love the holidays. And we hope you love this holiday mashup. Tell us who your fave was in the comments below. And have a very merry... <laughs> <laughs> What's up, dreamers? Today, we're bringing our fave ponies from MLP and sticking them in the Mario world. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. go. <laughs> okay. 
So the main character of Mario is of course Mario himself. And we choose Rainbow Dash to replace him. Rainbow Dash loves adventures and she's a loyal friend. Which means she'd go after Princess Peach every time Bowser kidnapped her. Speaking of Princess Peach, who do you think should replace her? Princess Twilight Sparkle, of course. OMG, yes! Princess Twilight Sparkle would be perfect. But I feel like she would use her smartness to make a trap or something so that Bowser would get caught every time she tried to kidnap her. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay, next up, Mario's brother, Luigi. Now, this pony needs to be super helpful and a good trooper. I know, Rarity. <gasps> perfect! Yup, she's super generous, so she'd love to give up her time and help out Rainbow Dash. Now for Toad's replacement. I think Fluttershy would be the perfect match. Totally. Toad is always helping Mario and Luigi out when they're stuck. And Fluttershy would always love to help her friends if they need him. And if we have Toad, we have to have Toad. And we have the perfect replacement, Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie would brighten up the game with her adorable laughter. So now who's left? <gasps> Apple Princess Jack. Daisy. <laughs> I guess that's our mashup. <laughs> I mean, Applejack is sweet to the core, and so is Daisy, so they're a perfect match. <laughs> oh, and what about Spike replacing Yoshi? OMG, that's too good. <laughs> hey, dreamers, it's time to compare our two fave shows. Oh, yeah, it's time for Little's Pet Shop and My Little Pony. First up is the hardworking challenge. Russell organizes everything in the Littlest Pet Shop. He's always running the show and making sure everything is going right. And Applejack helps run the farm. OMG, remember when she tried to do the whole harvest by herself? Now if that doesn't prove how hardworking she is, I don't know what would. So which animal wins the hardworking challenge? We're gonna go with Apple. This next round is the Goofy Guy Challenge. And the contestants are none other than Vinny and Spike. Both of them are loads of fun to be around and can easily make someone laugh. So which one of these Goofy Guys is your favorite? Tell us in the comments below. Next up we have, who's gonna get the job? First job up for grabs, a singer. And the two applicants for the job are Fluttershy and Zoe Trent. And the second job available is a fashion designer. And as you probably already guessed, Blight and Rarity are both going for the job. Comment below who you think should get the job. And last, but definitely not least, we have the Group Picture Pose Challenge. From the main six, we have... And from the Littlest Pet Shop Animals, we have... Tell us who you think wins this round in the comments. So dreamers, how'd we do? Hey fans, you asked and we answered. It's time for Monster High versus MLP. First up, let's talk about the coolest concept. Monster High is all about school, ghouls, and magical mysteries, but mostly it's about the awesome adventures of our fave cool friends. My Little Pony is a show about friendship, magic, and ponies. Lessons are always being learned by our favorite ponies, the main six. Both shows always have a positive message, major catastrophes, and characters we can relate to. But which show is your fave? Let us know in the comments below. Now, let's talk about which schools rule. Monster High, located in New Salem, was founded by a few monster families to create a unique and safe place for them to learn. It includes two main areas, a coffin-shaped campus and an underground catacomb. Some theme classes include dedication, home ick, and biology. On My Little Pony, there's a few versions of school. There is a Ponyville schoolhouse, a shared journal the manners keep to log, and Canterlot High. CH is the alternate universe school where our fave ponies are humans. It's pretty norm, but they do elect a student princess once a year, and dedicated students call themselves the Canterlot Wonder Colts. So which school totally rocks and rules? We're going with Monster High. Next, let's talk ghoul friends and the main six. On Monster High, the ghoul friends usually include Claudine, Frankie, Draculaura, Laguna, Cleo, and sometimes Abby and Gulia. Each ghoul has their own thing and they always help each other out. So whether it's battling an invisible evil genie or having to keep the peace, they do it together. On My Little Pony, the main six are literally linked in friendship and magic, each possessing an element of harmony. They use their abilities to battle whatever threatens their world. Both groups are BFFs, but which one's the best? We're calling this one a tie. It's time to talk fabulous fashion and fashionista. On Monster High, we see a lot of colors, styles, and super cute shoes. I also love Laguna's purse and Draculaura's always fabu fetch. Let's not forget about Claudine, dressed to fiercely impress. She's even opened her own salon for humans and monsters. Well, on My Little Pony, every pony is usually simple, but 
Whenever there's a gala or fashion show, the bling is on. <laughs> and Rarity is quite the fashionista. With an eye for awesomeness, she is always creating great styles and pony bridles for all occasions. But which fashion brings it the most? Monster High. Now let's talk about rightful rollers. On Monster High, we have Headless Headmistress, Blood Good. A misunderstood monster, she got the job as principal at MH for believing that things could change. Headmistress has continued to support her revolution for monster equality and gives advice as needed. In Equestria, we have Princess Celestia, the royal alley corn who has a history of battling all that threaten her kind. With wisdom, a sense of humor, and a caring heart, she continues to guide her loyal subjects, students, to live, laugh, and learn. So, who would you want to rule your world? We're going with Princess Celestia. All right, fans, what did you like the most in the Versus video? Let us know in the comments below. Hey, dreamers, today's mash is going to be gem-mazing. Here's a hint, it features characters from two shows that were created by women. So are you ready for this magic pack mash? Steven Universe plus MLP starts now. Okay, first up, let's talk about Steven. He's the son of a magical gem and a human, has magical powers, and is super outgoing and friendly. And on MLP, we have Spike the Dragon. He may not be half alien human, but he does have some magical abilities, plus a friendly kind vibe. Both characters give everyone a chance to learn from their mistakes and share a love of food. So what's a good name for this sensitive soul? Steven. Now let's talk about Rose Quartz. She was the leader of the Crystal Gems who sacrificed her life for her son Steven. Rose chose to go her own way and encouraged other gems to do the same. In Equestria, we have Princess Celestia, the alley corn ruling leader of the ponies. She may be busy raising the sun or battling a prophecy or two, but she also encourages her subjects to explore the world for themselves and live life to the fullest. This makes for one royally rad ruler, Princess Rose Tia. It's time to talk about the funnest of them. So let's start with the crystal gem, Amethyst. She's silly, carefree, and full of laughter, but is also very aware of people's feelings. So this made us think of Pinkie Pie, of course. She may be a barrel of laughs and a party pony, but she also has this crazy intuition and way of sensing things. A perfectly perceptive party person, Pamethyst. Next up, it's time to play it cool and talk about Garnet. She's the leader of the gems with a total girl power aura. Garnet's always got it going on and is the most physically fit of all the gems. Her superpowers and super coolness can sometimes be tested, but she is clearly the one in charge. So, thinking along the lines of this kind of awesome, we thought of Rainbow Dash. Her element may be loyalty, but her spirit is fierce. Arby is always willing to do what it takes, even with her super competitive side. And did we forget to mention that they both have sonic boom powers? We're thinking this one makes for a cool, confident character, Garbo Dash. Lastly, we'd like to give a shout out to the perfectionist gem, Pearl. Pearl loves to be organized and can suffer from low self-esteem, but her friends are always there to refocus her energy and purpose. Well, Princess Twilight Sparkle also falls into this category. She has many magical talents and is super smart, but her friends are a constant source of balance. This magical mash will always get by with a little help from her friends, Princess Twirl Spark. Hey dreamers, can you guess the magical movie that every pony is talking about? My Little Pony the Movie! That's right fans, magic is on its way, but we'll still have to wait a little bit longer. So we've got 10 fun facts to keep us going. Tell us in the comments below which one of the main six is your favorite. All right, let's get started. It's time for fact number one. Apparently the main six are traveling to places unknown to save Equestria from yet another evil villain. And our number two is that very villain. Played by Hollywood hottie Lee Schreiber, the Storm King looks like he could be related to Lord T-Rex but much more dark and stormy. He does have that dark villainy look with those sharp pointy horns and claws. Yikes. We were thinking the ponies will need some major powers to battle this dude. Which brings us to number three. This movie is jam packed with the new characters and famous stars who play them. I am so excited to see Kristen Chenoweth play Sky Star the Sea Pony. Wait, did you say Sea Pony? Yes I did. That is our number four. The main six will be growing some tails and going underwater in their adventure. There's even a cool 360 pick online where you can dive in and check out all the sea crush your awesomeness. Boom. <laughs> Our fifth fact is about Sia. As in the Australian singing star, she voices new character Songbird Serenade in the movie and even wrote an original song for the movie. And speaking of the soundtrack, we have number six. 
Fans will be happy to know that My Little Pony songwriter Daniel Ingram is also on board and recording seven original songs for the movie with a live studio orchestra. That's a total of eight new songs. Yay! <laughs> Number seven is all about directing. MLP friendship is magic, and Equestria Girl director Jason Thiessen is staying true to his peeps for the big screen, so we know the Mainers are in good hands. Coming in at eight, we have a surprise. Showing before the My Little Pony movie will be a short film featuring Hasbro's web series, Hanazuki. OMG, I love her. She is totes adorbs. And speaking of adorbs, we have fact number nine. Toys for the movie are available for pre-order, and we predict that they will rock. I totally want that Sequestria castle set. I totally want my magical princess Twilight Sparkle figure. We, we totally, totally want, want them both. <laughs> okay, time to wrap things up with number 10. MLP the movie will hit theaters October 6, 2017. All right, dreamers, what'd you think? Did you have a fave fact? Let us know in the comments below. I seriously cannot wait. This is going to be the best movie ever. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly what you said. <laughs> Thanks for joining us again today. And don't forget to subscribe to maximize all your DM fun. Until next time. Bye, guys. Bye.